The 2015-2016 Temple University basketball teams will make their public debut at Cherry and White Night tomorrow. The free event, which is open to the public, will be held at the Leah Chorus Center beginning at 6.15 p.m. You do not want to miss it. Doors open at 5.45 p.m. Cherry and White Night features an opportunity to win more than $10,000 in prizes, free t-shirts, and food for Temple students. A first chance to check out the 2015-2016 men's and women's basketball team, live music with an appearance from the Temple Pep Band, cheerleaders, and the Diamond Gems dance team, games, contests, and more. And make sure you stick around after Cherry and White Night for a viewing party to watch the undefeated Temple University football team as they play East Carolina at 7 p.m. So we're all pumped up for the start of the 2015 Temple basketball season. And now we welcome into WHIP the head coach of your Temple Owls, and that's Fran Dumphy. Coach Dumphy, Zach Gelb, and Mike Zahn here on Temple's campus. Thanks for a few minutes, and how are you? All right, thanks. You got it, guys. How you doing, all right? Yeah, we're doing great. We're all pumped up for the start of the 2015-2016 season. And like we mentioned, Cherry and White Night's going to be a whole lot of fun, and there's a viewing party afterwards to watch the Temple football team play. I know you're coach, uh, close with Coach Matt Rule. What's been your take so far on this undefeated football team? Uh, fantastic stuff. I'm so proud of all of them and so happy for Temple University, happy for uh, – the football program, all of the athletic department. I think it's fantastic, and uh, we're looking forward to tonight's game or tomorrow night's game. It'll be a whole lot of fun. Well, you have a brand new team this year for basketball. Let's do some basketball talk right now. What do you think the identity of your team is going to be this year? I know it's early to start off the season. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're hanging in there. I think it's going to be to be determined with the our. Uh, our mantra right now, we need to, to play our best basketball right out of the gate. Our, our, our schedule is so phenomenal. Uh, it's going to be a tough road to hoe for us, but really looking forward to it. A tremendous challenge for us. Uh, anxious for our team to do as well as we possibly can. So we're, we're, we're in good shape. We like how our team is. and uh, We need to play great basketball, though, no question about that. There was no doubt about it that Will Cummings was your senior leader last year, and the team responded in such a special way when they got snubbed out of the NCAA tournament and made it to the NIT Final Four at Madison Square Garden. Who replaces Will's leadership role this year? Well, certainly uh, on the court, I would say Brown's going to have the ball a lot. He needs to, to do his best work out there, and but he's really been our hardest worker, and and he's really working hard at making all decisions. Uh, a different player than, than Will Cummings, though, but it, uh, he's certainly a guy that we're going to count on a lot. And I would say uh, Jalen Bond's going to have to take over some of that leadership role as well that Will was so good at last year for us. So those two guys especially are, are, are really keys to us. We're talking to the head coach of the Temple Owls men's basketball team, entering his 10th season as head coach, friend Dunphy and coach, in your tenure with the Owls, seldom do you start freshmen, and Obi and Echionia did get plenty of playing time. What did you see from him in his freshman year, and what has he done in the offseason to improve for his sophomore season with the program? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to just uh, say something about freshmen and uh, those guys that have been ready, whether it was Juan Fernandez or LaVoy Allen or, or uh, others that we have played. Have, have gotten their minutes and, and played a lot of basketball as freshmen. Oh, really came on at the end of the year. and he's, He had a very, very good freshman year, and I think he's really poised to have a very good sophomore year for us as well. But he'll be a little different target for teams uh, this year as we play. They're going to be expecting him to do uh, good work for us, so they're going to set their defenses for him. So it'll be a little bit different for him, but uh, he'll do great. We're looking forward to him having a terrific season this year. We have a lot of confidence in him. Now, you already discussed that Jalen Bond will need to pick up some of the leadership, and he obviously came on last year, did transfer from Texas. So even though this isn't his fourth year with the program, it will be his senior season. What does Jalen Bond do for you on the court, and then as well as what does he do off the court and things in the locker room? Well, first of all, on the court, he's, he's very versatile on the defensive end, can guard just about anybody on the court. He's a terrific rebounder. Uh, he's improving his perimeter game on the offensive end. Uh, he's going to have to uh, make plays for us as well as make shots for us. Uh, so he's very, very valuable defensively. Uh, and 
Well, at both ways, so on defense and on offense. But off the court, he's doing a terrific job just being the best person he can be and uh, doing all the right things. We're, we're really counting on him to be our spokesperson in many, many ways as a, from, the, from the team, uh, from the player standpoint. He's, he's a terrific guy. We're happy to have him and uh, happy that he chose to come back to Philadelphia and go to Temple University. We're spending a few minutes with the head coach of Temple University for the basketball team. That is Fran Dumphy. Cherry and White Knight is tomorrow. Doors open at 5.45 p.m. And all the stuff will begin at the Leacorus Center at 6.15. Coach, a lot of people have high expectations for Quinn and DeCozy this year, and they want to see him elevate his game. Last year only had 12.3 points per game. What does Q need to do to elevate his game, and do you have confidence that he'll do that in his senior year? Well, I hope so. He, he's, a, he's a big key for us as well. He's got the ability to make shots and to make plays. He's a, he knows the game very well and uh, just decision-making on the offensive end. And really, uh, we need him to rebound that ball, too. Uh, he needs to be a terrific rebounder from the guard spot, especially on the defensive end. Uh, so it's a big year for Q. I think he wants to really show his best, best game to everybody, and he's got a great opportunity to be one of our leaders this year. Last year, you talked about how Josh Brown was the most improved player. Going into this season, who are you most excited about and, and think will have that biggest turnaround from last year to this year? Uh, yeah, a possibility of a number of guys. I have to see Devin Coleman really step up and have a great year for us. He's a guy that we need to make shots. We need him to make shots. We need him to be a real solid performer on the defensive end. He's actually a, he's one of our smaller guys, but one of our better rebounders, certainly from that guard spot. So uh, he has a great opportunity to play a lot of minutes. Uh, he's going to be given that opportunity right away, and, and hopefully he'll have a, a terrific year for us. But so I'd say he's probably the one we need the most from. I know there's still three or so weeks until you guys kick off your season against UNC in Annapolis, Maryland. But if you had to project forward, what looks like will be the starting five starting the season? Yeah, I, you know, you, you can count on uh, Jalen and Josh right away. And I think, and, and Q probably at this point. And, but everything else is uh, you know, the, the great opportunities for a lot of guys, including our freshmen. I think our freshmen have done a really good job of of, of coming on. And uh, so I, I don't know. I'm not overly concerned about who starts. I am very concerned about who's finishing. And I think that that's what we're building toward. But, uh, you know, the the guys who have played a lot in the past are probably going to be playing a lot in the future, and and the, but there's opportunities that, that that are going to come along for those guys who haven't had as much opportunity yet, and uh, we got to stay healthy too. That's another big deal that we have to pay attention to. You talk about those freshmen. You bring in three local kids, and then you bring in one kid from Argentina. Uh, what has impressed you so far with the freshmen, and what do they still need to work on as they get ready for the season? Well. Uh, the three guard guard guys we have in uh, Sean Alston and Trey Lowe and, uh, and Ayan uh, Nunez de Carvalho, uh, they probably are just uh, just learning that game at the guard spot and getting a little bit stronger, certainly on the defensive end is really what you're concerned about, being a solid defender and making good decisions on offense. But they're all doing very well. Uh, I think they're ahead of where I thought they would be at this point. And then Ernest, the flag boy, is, is doing a really good job up front. He's, he's the guy that our guys don't like to play against because he, he thinks that every rebound that's coming off that rim is his. Uh, that's a nice attitude to have as a rebounder and as a big guy. So uh, they're all doing their part. And they're all working hard to, to see what they can do. We had an inter-squad scrimmage last week. We'll have another one this week, and we'll get, the, get a couple of scrimmages before we play. North Carolina, and by that time, we should know exactly who we are and where the rotations will be. Fran, this has been a university that they've been able to go out there and recruit foreign players in the past, Pepe Sanchez and Juan Fernandez. How do you go out there and have a kid from Argentina select to pick Temple University as his home for basketball in college? Well, I had nothing to do with uh, Pepe Sanchez, but Juan Fernandez was a young man that uh, came and did a terrific, terrific job for us. And it was a good man as well as being a being a good player. Uh, we just got a hold of uh, uh, Ion's name and took took a look at a lot of, at him on film, and he came to visit us and liked what it was he saw, and we're we're giving him an opportunity, and he did a good job playing for his country. And uh, Argentina has a great 
basketball history and tradition. So we were we were thrilled to get Dion to come to Temple. Last one with the head coach of the Temple University Basketball Owls. That is Fran Dumphy. You open up the year against North Carolina. They're the number one ranked team in the country, tied for number one. It's the Veterans Classic in a fun venue in Annapolis, Maryland, uh, which means a lot for this country. Uh, when you take a look at that game, just how much of a, an honor is it to open up the year up against UNC, especially with two prestigious programs going at it? Yeah, first of all, I think it's a, it's a privilege for us to be in the tournament. It's a great challenge for us to be playing a team that has been picked, I guess, as the co-number one team in the country. It's a tremendous challenge. I think it's what our kids want. I've always had the opinion, and I think Coach Cheney had it before I had it, that uh, our job is to provide memories and experiences for our players. So let's play in the best venues we can find. Let's play the best teams we can find and, and make sure that those experiences are as good as they could be for our student-athletes. And, so this is no no different than what we've done in the past. We'll have some really uh, really good games, especially early in our season this year. Our, I think our conference is really a good basketball conference. So we'll have our hands full. If we're looking for a challenge, we certainly have it. And uh, just looking forward to the season opening up. Well, Coach Dunphy, we'll be looking forward to calling the games this year right here on WHIP. And it all opens up on November 13th, the Friday night game up against UNC. We appreciate a few minutes. Thanks so much for calling in today. All right, guys, you got it. All the best. Thanks for following us. Thanks so much. There is Coach Fran Dunphy joining us on the hotline WHIP.